Since the beginning of the Ukraine war, on February 24th, Ukraine has used Turkish-made drones, such as the Bayraktar TB2, unmanned aerial vehicles, which carry lightweight, laser-guided bombs, to launch lethal pop-up attacks on the invaders. Remarkably, it carried out unexpectedly successful attacks, in the early stages of the war, surprising Western military experts. The Ukrainian military has used the drone successfully against the Russian military several times. On the other hand, to win the war, Russian forces are focusing on outnumbering Ukrainian troops and military equipment. Putin is intensifying the fighting by deploying more troops, bombing more targets, and conducting more air raids. Now, the Russian government is using a new wave of laser weapons to counter Western technology that is assisting Ukraine's self-defense. Russia is reportedly using its invasion of Ukraine to test new battlefield technology. According to the report, Russia's deputy prime minister, Yuri Borisov, who is in charge of military development, said the first prototypes are already being used there, and the weapon was called Zadira. Russian Deputy Prime Minister Yuri Borisov told that the country's latest laser weapon, called Zadira, is now being used by military units fighting in Ukraine. According to him, the equipment can incinerate targets up to three miles away in five seconds and is more advanced than the Perisvet, another laser system unveiled by Russian President Vladimir Putin in 2018. If Perisvet blinds an object, the new generation of laser weapons destroys it physically. Putin mentioned, one called Perisvet, named after Alexander Perisvet, is a Russian laser weapon used for air defense and anti-satellite defense. Yuri Borisov said that the Perisvet, a laser weapon, was already being widely deployed, and it could blind satellites up to 1,500 kilometers above Earth. He also said that there were already more powerful systems than Perisvet that could burn up drones and other equipment. Since the beginning of December 2019, the Perisvet laser complexes have been on combat duty, and it is already being mass supplied to the missile troops. Little is known about the laser weapon and the Russian government provided few details about it. The Perisvet combat laser is effective against unmanned aerial vehicles. Its effectiveness is directly dependent on environmental conditions, it works perfectly in good weather. But, fog, rain, snow, and other adverse weather events can interfere with the laser beam's passage. The expert also stated that such installations consume a lot of electricity, making them unsuitable for use as a portable tool. However, in the future, they will be able to protect military bases and other locations from UAV penetrations into their territory. Deputy Prime Minister explained, this system is capable of easily shooting down various types of drones, avoiding expending costly missiles of the Pantsir and Tor types. Replace conventional weapons. The Deputy Prime Minister said that, the new lasers, using wide electromagnetic bands, could eventually replace traditional weapons. Borisov's remarks, indicate that, Russia has made significant progress with laser weapons, a trend that other nuclear powers, such as the United States and China, are keenly interested in. For years, the United States, China, and Russia, have been developing variants of such weapons. Aside from the benefit of destroying drones, blinding reconnaissance systems have a strategic impact too, as satellites are used to monitor intercontinental ballistic missiles carrying nuclear weapons. This isn't the first time cutting-edge technology has been used in the war against Ukraine. Russia has launched multiple Kinjal hypersonic missiles at Ukrainian targets. This variant of the Iskander short-range ballistic missile can be launched from a fighter jet, the MiG-31K. Russia claims that Kinjal is virtually impossible to stop due to its high speed, but US and UK officials have dismissed its effectiveness, claiming that it is simply an air-launched variant of a conventional weapon.
On the other hand, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky dismissed reports of Russian laser weapons. He compared him to Nazi Germany's wonder weapons, which were unveiled in an attempt to avoid defeat at the end of World War II.